Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Your phone calls are coming up in the next segment. We're talking about the U.S. being surpassed by China next year as the main economic power worldwide. That's been done by design. The big news is U.S. FCC chief details pledge to police to have Internet fast lanes. That's FCC controlled new Internet, too, that is openly a surveillance grid. So the police have live Wi-Fi video feeds everywhere from their drones and the rest of it. But it's being done to keep us safe, so we need to do that. And they're already building Internet 2 with the police. Will you guys print me Mikhail Thalen's articles from a few months ago about police caught uh, stealing cell phone data? I think was the headline, but really it was putting in their own grid. It was those articles, remember those? And they were huge viral videos and, and, and articles. And uh, the... Um, Police responded saying, you're right, it is illegal what we're doing. It was a Homeland Security grant, we're going to turn them off. But then they didn't turn them off. They just did the military tactic of saying, we turned them off. The threat's over, go back to sleep. Like a wolf's creeping up to the sheep. The sheep sees the wolf 10 feet away and the wolf goes, I'm not a wolf, I'm not a wolf. Go back to eating, I'm friendly. Let me give you a back rub. Let me just get my teeth around your neck. Then they start shaking the sheep, blood everywhere. Next sheep sees it and goes, I just gave him a back rub. You know, that red stuff everywhere, that's good. That's a, you know, he, he's fine. Let me get my teeth around your neck. You know, there's no tyranny. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, everything's, everything's wonderful. And if you guys can't find that headline, just go ask uh, Gucciardi and he can find it. Or, or just I'll do it. I, I can't remember the exact headline, so it, it'll be an issue. It's like uh, police suspend use of... There it is. Exclusive. Government documents reveal DHS domestic spy takeover. And I think that was the second article in the group. But yeah, print me that one. And, and we got all their documents from our source inside the Seattle city government. We'll just leave it to you that way. And uh, it's totally illegal, totally criminal, totally evil. But hey, we got to have our own new internet for the police. I mean, it's for the police. No, they're going to force the entire internet on to this, and this is just part of it. And the FCC has never had jurisdiction over the internet, and they do not need jurisdiction over the internet and over cable TV and over movies. It's over broadcast, and it is a bureaucratic power grab, and we need to strangle it in its crib. Kill this attempt. Just like they tried to this year pass a law to shield journalists that every analyst looked at, every law professor looked at and said, this ends the shield for journalists unless you're knighted by the federal government by a panel set up that Obama runs that's going to go around inspecting everyone that the Boston Herald last week called free speech killing and chilling. Free speech killing and chilling, not me. I mean, it's all, folks, they are lined up like Hitler on the border with Poland, getting ready to totally invade, okay? You think all this tyranny is a big deal now? This is just the warm-up phase as the frontline PSYOP soldiers of the globalists size everybody up, get the chemicals in the water to size us up, get us softened up. They are setting it up, ladies and gentlemen. Authorizing the domestic army PSYOPs, CIA PSYOPs, turning their uh, Media Matters operatives loose. And that's why you're going to see attempted uh, attacks on Infowars.com and anybody else that's real. And we know where the attacks are coming from. And when those attacks come, we already have it all planned to be released and detailed and documented. So we're ready for when the enemy attacks to have that magnify what we've really done and actually expose their whole operations. We're aware of three different operations to infiltrate, undermine, and try to stop our operation. What do you think? We don't expect that to happen? Well, we play dumb with these operatives so we can get all the intel on them? <laughs> oh, I'm coming in. 
I'm coming in over the main target. I can see the flat clouds. I'm going to steer to the center, and I'm going to release my payload directly on the enemy, and nothing's going to stop us. We're going in. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to really Realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, 12 noon, 3 p.m. Eastern. We are here live. I am your host, Alex Jones. And we are using our phone system today, totally producing the show out of Austin, Texas. And the toll-free number to join us is 877-789-2539. We are going to be going to your phone calls here in just a few minutes. But I first wanted to get Paul Joseph Watson on the broadcast for several reasons. I got a lot of great writers, Kurt Nemo, you name it. They all do a fabulous job. But Paul Watson probably writes three or four articles a day. I'm not even cracking the whip to get him to do that. He, you know, he lives liberty, joining us from London. Uh, but a lot of times the articles he writes uh, end up getting picked up by DrudgeReport.com because Drudge really likes his writing, I guess, uh, and also by a lot of other publications. So I'm going to ask Paul to also do a video on this. And I'm also going to ask my other writers to get on this beat. And I'm going to ask the Nightly News to cover this because... InfoWars by itself, InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, may be able to 
take this integrated group of news reports and get it out to the public so there can be a national debate about this like we've done on so many other issues so that we can try to stop what's happening. Now, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to go to your phone calls after that. <sighs> when I tell you that we covered this 15 years ago, it's not to toot our horn. It's to let you know that this is a fact, what you're about to hear. And that I'm going to give you some of the breadcrumbs to follow so you can go look this up for yourself very easily. I'm talking to journalists and others out there as well and members of Congress that listen so that we can formulate a plan to beat this. Really, not a lot of other folks are doing this up until now, so we need to do it. Sometimes it doesn't even mean that you're that smart or you're that great. You, you're just willing to do it. It's kind of like I wrote the article that took me weeks to write. I forget the exact title, but I was, uh, I think it was Patriot Act destroys seven of the 10 Bill of Rights, an analysis. And I had constitutional lawyers on later who said, no, this is an excellent analysis. And it spurred the movement to then get hundreds of jurisdictions, and I think it was like 20-something states, to pass laws saying we won't comply with the Patriot Act and we'll arrest anybody trying to carry out the Patriot Act. This is totally unconstitutional in our state. And that's an example of not bragging. That's an example of saying I won the Project Censored Award second place that year, uh, a year after that article came out. It got republished in newspapers all over the place. Lawyers went and looked it up because the lawyers are busy all trying to have as many clients as they can try to make money. So constitutional lawyers, people went and read my analysis, and they wrote blueprints off that confirming what I'd said. Because I would go to the subsection, I'd go to the U.S. Code, I would show sneak and peek, uh, I would show no warrants. I mean, I would show what it really said. Because no one was saying what the Patriot Act was really doing then. We had to discredit that piece of legislation. And so I'm saying that so that other media people, there it is, total police state takeover, the secret Patriot Act 2 destroys what's left of American liberty, a brief analysis of the Domestic Security Enhancement Act of 2003, also known as the Patriot Act 2. Uh, that's another one. That's another analysis that I wrote about Patriot Act 2, but it's good as well. And then I sourced all my claims and showed the subsections. And that's a press release. I paid to have the press release put out nationwide. I think like $2,000 to have it put in so many newspapers and so many press releases and so many faxes. And that was back even before there was such a glut of information like there is now. It would really have an effect. Those press releases don't really do that much now, but we still do them sometimes. But I digress. I want to go to your phone calls. I've got Paul Watson on the line because I really want him to do an article today about this, tomorrow about it. We wrote an article that went viral a few years ago, six, seven years ago, about MySpace-type Internet sites are the Trojan horse of Internet takeover. And we explained that MySpace and then Facebook and other sites that were coming were giant platforms like YouTube in the future where only those big platforms will be given free internet access. Everything else will be in a slow lane. And then the fast lane, you will have to waive your rights, thumbprint, biometrically ID. You'll be able to be taxed, traced, tracked, controlled. And then they will phase out the old free Wild West internet that they've already released the keys to and the back doors to, to allow it to be destroyed and fall apart. They can punch a few buttons, folks, and bring down large parts of the Internet. It was supposedly designed to not be like that. DARPA designed it so that other people on the outside can't take it down, but that they can take it down. And then Google, Microsoft, Apple, a handful of universities, Cyber Command, Homeland Security, the NSA, and Northcom, they all have, it's less than 20 keys, this is admitted, by the way, and they control the rings of Mordor to be able to, to actually take the web down. But they can selectively take it down, just like the communist Chinese do. There's the headline. MySpace is a Trojan horse of Internet censorship media elite. Last gasp of effort to save crumbling empire. 2006. 
It's one of the first articles DrudgeReport.com ever linked to with us.